What's going on everybody? It's Childish, we're back out of the game, coming at you with another Summoner's War video. In today's video, we're gonna jump into a Guild War battle featuring two of our Street Fighter units that recently got buffed, uh, Water Bison and Fire Bison here. So as you guys can see, this is what we're currently running with the Fire and Bison. We're running a Violent Shield right now because I need some better revenge runes here. Speed, HP, HP. Uh, we got some decent, uh, we got some decent artifacts here with a little bit of additional damage. So we can take advantage of that skill three since it does multi hits. Uh, and the skill two as well. Um, and then down below, or sorry, down below, what am I talking about? Over here to the left, uh, Water M Bison. Uh, this one's an interesting set. It is speed, HP, HP, a little bit less tanky, not as much speed, a little bit less accuracy, but we're going to be making up for it uh, with regards to our, I think our, uh, uh, yeah, our artifact here will give a little bit more for that skill two. So if you guys didn't get a chance to check it out, both of their skill ones are now going to be scaled off of that max HP here. So that's gonna be really nice. We're gonna be able to get a lot of uh, damage out of it. And then of course, for the Water and Bison, we also had a recent change where the skill two now will not do an attack break, but a defense break on this one, in addition to that provoke here. So that's gonna be nice. Again, any kind of defense uh, defense break that we bring into our battles is just gonna make it a little bit easier for us to take those units out. So I'm excited to see once I get this skill maxed out, um, to see what kind of nastiness we could do. And maybe down the road, we'll do a little bit of testing with like a crit damage build. I don't know if I can get away with that, but for now, for the time being, I'm just gonna go ahead and try it out uh, with its current state. We're just going, you know, super fast and just overall high HP. And we'll we'll see what we can make, we'll see what we can do with this here. So let's see if we got, we got Ophelia runed up. Yeah, let's go ahead and use Ophelia in this spot. We'll bring in Ritesh. I believe I got this one runed up as well. Oh, that's not Ritesh, hello. <laughs> Better grab the right unit, right? Make sure I still got runes on it. Uh, yeah, okay. And then uh, we'll go ahead and add, where is he? Where is he? We're gonna go ahead and add the water and bison in the spot here. So uh, that should be pretty interesting. Yeah, because of defense lead plus the super high defense that we got going on here. This is gonna make this for a nice tanky unit. And again, once we get these units destroyed when it comes to that max HP, we're gonna be able to do a lot less damage uh, with that specific unit. Um, okay, down below, we'll go ahead and run uh, one of the teams that I've been running quite a bit as of late. It's actually one of my Guild War, Guild War defense teams and it works pretty well. The Ciara, Praha, uh, and Water and Bison. Now, you know, the funny thing about this is I, I, I kind of do want to take the first turn here, um, you know, try to use a speed lead, but because of the fact that he has some ways of providing defense breaks and control, I'm going to run the resistance lead and just try to try to see if we can uh, uh, get a little resistance and just not get controlled right out of the gate. Because again, not all of my units have will, so I'm pretty sure that that second team probably doesn't have, <laughs> probably doesn't have will at all. Rip the team, right? Uh, what do we do in this spot? Do we bring this one up? I think I want to go ahead. Wow, what a sick violent proc here. Now Ritesh should be going before that water and bison. Uh, the only downside is is that they have will. Okay, let's go ahead and just try to do this here. Um, we got a defense break in. Unfortunately, we could have violent proc, right? That's a, that's a downside. Like it's nice to have the defense break, but unfortunately, unfortunately we have to. We have to, it's, it's only a one turn defense break here. So can I send this one? Nice stun. Give me some violent procs here. Okay, okay, 9K damage with no defense break here. Okay, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Let's heal this up. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep on working on that Theo right now because Theo is going to, I, I want to go ahead and yeah, get this get this going here. Okay, 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 nice control, nice control. Oh, despair, despair, uh, I'm sorry. I've been playing around with Swift, Ethna so much myself. It's crazy to think. It's it's great. It's crazy for me to see a despair at I ain't gonna lie. Uh, what's the deal? Well, it's gonna go for that water and bison, right? Can we just? I don't even know. Should we hit it? Should we hit the other one? What should we hit here? Oh man, do you got skill three? I already forgot if you had skill three. Let me try. Let me try skill skill one here. I'll try to do that just so we can use it, right? Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna try it again. Try this provoke here. Uh oh. Uh oh. I shouldn't have done it. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh. Feels bad, man. Okay, so at least at least water and bison's not alive. Or sorry, at least he's still alive, right? We we still there's a fighting chance just because of the fact that we do have we do have a defense break, right? Oh man, what do we do here? I'm gonna try to work this one down here. Get get that lucky violent park. We need that lucky violent park here. Uh oh. Oh boy. Lens this one here. Can we get that? Can we get that lucky defense break? I mean, defense break and a proc here. Okay, I think I think now we're in we're in trouble in this spot. We have to we have to seriously we have to seriously proc. That's unfortunate. Okay, what well, water and bison? We're gonna have to mess around with it a little bit. I think I think he's really not gonna shine until until we get that until we get that skill to max out here. Because again, a two turn cooldown uh, for a nice damage and ability alongside alongside the uh, 
alongside the uh, defense break of the broker i think it's i think it's gonna be pretty nice here. boy i could have really i could have really used that uh despair stun unfortunately but that's okay let's try to control this one if we can get some control get some strips wow perna didn't do anything but at least we can sleep right now right this is good this is good let's do this right here let's go skill two to push this back oh can we get a provoke here no provoke but oh for, rip the dream rip the dream Try to control it so we didn't get slapped, but that's okay. I think we're still gonna be okay. Can I stun this one? No stun. Can I provoke this one? No provoke. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Trying to control here with the bombs. Let's do this. We're not gonna land a bomb. It's not, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Come on already. Can we get a sleep one time? Oh, clutch stun. Clutch stun on the Praha. You gotta love it. Okay, I gotta do this. Gotta do this pushback for the stun. That's a, that's a good stun. Now we're gonna do this right here. We have to do this. We have to, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm gonna, oh, I should, I didn't even need to do that. I didn't even need to do that. What a waste, what a waste. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, I'm gonna try to control this one. Oh, whoops, I guess that's okay, right? Do this here, and then we get that lucky violent prog. Nope. Wow, nice stun. Control this, good, 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 good. Control this, good, good, good. Uh, Blow this up, because those are the big damages, right? We take out that, we should be good. Wow, some good some good RNG our way. Some good RNG our way. That's okay. You can hit you can hit fire and bison all day. I'm down for that. That's okay. As long as he stays alive uh for another match here, that's all I care about. Let's go skill two into this one. And now we control here. Good, good, good. We can heal. We can control that praha. Never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> and then we get out of it. So yeah. Um definitely Quite a bit of a gamble here because we didn't have Will on the unit. That being said, they did have Praha to go ahead and strip and control. So we would have still been at a bad spot. But like I said, I'm trying to use, uh, you know, Bison's every single fight. So if I could do that for every three matches and maybe get a win in the process, hey, we'll go ahead and take it. You know what I'm curious about? I mean, I understand, you know, that like the concept of Reckless Assault and the, you know, the fact of how it does damage based on its HP, a certain amount of percentage of HP, right? I'm wondering if even though, let's say it has a capped amount of HP, with like a uh, destroyed mechanic here. Does destroyed mechanic, does destroyed AP reduce the amount of damage that the overall weapon assault do? For example, if it had 50% destroy and it did, it had 50% life and it did like a 50%, you know, or like a, like a, like a reckless assault, will he have even more of a reduced damage due to the fact that that destroyed it? Would that come into play? I feel like it would come into play. Um, so I'm curious to see if we could test that out. What, what can we do here? Uh, I'm just going to make these units super tanky. We'll run defense lead with the defense buff, and then we'll bring in our defense breaker and defense, defense, defense. That's what, <laughs> that's what it's all about. Again, this is not the optimal team versus this comp, but we're just going to have fun with it, try it out. We'll see what happens here. Uh, up top, though, we will bring... I'm going to go Bastet in this spot. I'm going to go Ethna. Uh, or should we go Ethna or should we go Ciara? I think uh, I think Ethna's okay. We still have Ethna alive. Did we, did we lose Ethna already? I think we still have Ethna. Let me see. Let me see. I don't think we lost her in the last battle, right? We still got Ethna. So let's run Ethna for the additional stuns and the defense breaks. Could have run CR in that spot as well, but that's all good. We, we will go ahead and do this for now here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. You know what, though? Yeah, we should be fine. I was thinking about getting a little Jing Zay action in there. I've been having fun with that one, but you know what, though? We'll play around with the Ethna. We'll play around with the Ethna. Give her a little love here. So, okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, we did get the first turn very very nice. So at least we get a you know choose how he's gonna get focused down We can't do any Control right now because of the fact that he has The two main units locked out. I'm actually gonna wait a second. here. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait one I'll try to provoke this one if I can um, Highly doubt it's gonna happen because of the whole you know low HP and whatnot here, but that's all right Let's do should we do this? Yeah, yeah, might as well the defense break is on there uh, Those two units can go ahead and you know essentially snipe it, right? Um, so let's do that We'll protect and that should be a waste, right? Let's do this. Get that defense break in. I don't think it's gonna be useful. I, I was hoping that Tyrannus would be able to sneak in, but that's okay. Again, we like I feel like I feel like we really need to get that skill to maxed out on this unit here. Provoke this one right here. No, no. Yes, yes. <laughs> Try it already. Alright, alright, alright. Like I said, I think this is that's the downside of this one. If if water and bison is the only only defense breaker. We need to we need to speed tune things like a, like crazy here, um, in order for this to work. All right, so let's put this in vulnerability up since we still got more provoke. Can we control this one? Nope, nope, not lucky enough. Come on now. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, that was close. 
That was close, and I think Reckless Assault is coming in. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, well, I, I guess it will be. Oh, well, that's a sick proc right there. That is a sick proc right there. Did she... Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Hold on, hold on. What do we do here? What do we do? Who do we protect? We gotta protect this one, right? Just in case, just in case. Oh, you would do that defense break. That's unfortunate. That is super unfortunate. And of course, I don't want to use it right now, right? I don't want to use it right now. I'm hoping... Like, we do have a violence set on this unit, right? Like, what is the deal? We're just not lucky enough. What is going on? Again, I got to put it out there before somebody leaves a comment because you know somebody will. This is not the optimal setup. I just wanted I just wanted to try to set this up to do some testing here so we can actually see it. Okay, now let's try to get that defense break in. Let's try to do this. Try to get a little destroy on this one. Can we do that? Please bring this down so it doesn't do reckless assault or at least do a ton of damage here. You probably will go for that unit. Yeah, 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 of course. Skill two, skill two works. Again, yeah, the, the the damage reduction right now is negligible. There's just not a lot of destroyed HP here, but definitely, I mean, from what I remember from the previous testing and whatnot, I think the 50% is, is a little bit more noticeable considering the fact that we're not even using, that we're not even using the, uh, what's it called? We're not even using like a, like a crit damage build or anything like that. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. But let me know what you guys think about these recent changes. Uh, you know, obviously, when when Bison, I think it's going to be really, really good for Guild Wars Siege. Fire and Bison is going to be really good for Guild Wars Siege. Water and Bison, though, I don't know what's going to make Guild War defense. Sure, you can mess around with it in Guild War offense. I think the, I think it'd be interesting to see. Like I said, if you can figure out a way to synergize it with a team that basically can stay alive, you know, just just has a fair amount of effective HP, you can take full advantage of that uh, of that passive and just able to mitigate beyond belief we'll have to see how this works i would i would love to do some more testing though um uh, maybe like maybe like ophelia i don't know like I, I thought this would i thought this would be a little bit a little bit more fun like a little bit of something that we could do but i mean technically uh, technically it's holding right it is holding and the more the more we keep on hitting these guys the more we get to mitigate so i guess over time it should be good but i Versus these kind of units. Yeah, not the greatest at all. Oh my gosh. You're so perfect. You're so perfect, Harmonia. I'll tell you what, man. She's too good. She's too good. Control this one. No, you don't want to do nothing. Demonic being passive. All right. All right. All right. We'll go ahead and give this one up. We're going to give this one up just so we could try to use it for the next one here. Uh, that's a that's a rip, though. <laughs> Super unfortunate. Uh, let's do this. Uh, can we go ahead and just push this one back here? I might have to control that. Oh yeah, please get that defense break on it. Yes, let's go with the Viger. We don't want the Viger to get, the whoa. Did that unit have runes on it? Like what happened? This was supposed to be a Fire and Bison showcase. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Okay, so, come on, come on. Uh, Do this right now. Oh. That was pretty decent damage, right? That was like 12k on a defense broken without crit damage build. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So yeah, even though it's not the optimal setup here, that wasn't too bad. Fire and Bison, doing it big. <laughs> all right then, just finishing out this auto here. Come on, come on, come on. I can mind you, maybe it was the, uh, maybe it was the, like I said, the artifacts coming into play. That could, that could have been it. Why don't we just have fun for the last one here? Okay, Water Bison versus Water Molong, right? Water Panda. And then of course we'll go Fire and Bison versus this one. Full auto. We're just gonna have fun here. Once again, guys, uh, as you guys know, when, when it comes to the Guild War battles, once we generally win the matches here, uh, we just wanna, we just wanna do what we gotta do to go ahead and uh, throw a little bit of entertainment your way. I probably not gonna win this one, but hey, and maybe that little bit of that little bit of control. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You keep procking, Panda. You keep procking. You're good. You're good. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I have to press auto. I forgot. I forgot. Now this is, I guess this is like a known contest, right? Fire versus wind, but he does have a revive, right? So you never know. You never know. Now what is he? I was gonna say, like, where's the AI on this one? Is he not gonna put that defense break on or what's the deal? Yeah, fire and bison. I think I think you got this one. <laughs> I think you got this one. Oh man! So yeah, guys, let me know uh, what you think about these units in the comment section down below, and do me a favor. 
Uh, you guys seen my monster box? Let me know what you guys think about potentially. Like I, I like I said, I've already had some very successful uh, Guild War defenses with the Fire and Bison, but Water and Bison. What do you think there? Could we do some kind of a? I don't even know, like a Kamun, Ratesh, you know, Water and Bison, or can we go Ophelia, X Water and Bison? You know, to take advantage of the the defense mitigation there alongside his passive just to stay alive more or does it really matter because that that comp is just so like cop real boodles or copper or illusionable like let me know what you guys think about that uh i'm curious to hear your feedback all right uh that's gonna be it guys thank you all so much for tuning in it's your boy childish and childish please check it out take care and we'll see you all in the next one we're out